Hey everybody, my name is Shazane and this weekend I am going to my baby shower. So I wanted to do my hair really um, just kind of beachy and just fun and flowy and very big and curly um, because it's going to be like a barbecue type of thing. It's going to be, um, we're in late July so it's hot out. I know I'm going to be going into the lake and stuff. So I just want to do something very fun and not too put together. Um, so I am going to show you how I got my hair and my makeup so if you want to uh, find out how I got this look please keep watching also at the end of the video if you liked it please leave a thumbs up you can also subscribe and my uh, Twitter link is on my channel page and my Instagram link is down below if you want to follow either of those pages so stay tuned and keep watching okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is take my cleansing wipes from Equate they're in pink grapefruit and I'm just gonna use these to remove any excess makeup I might have still on my face from the night before next I'm taking my oil-free dual treatment moisturizer and putting that all over my face and neck Next I am taking two foundations, one is Revlon Color Stay and the other is Revlon Photo Ready. One's a little bit lighter than the other and I'm just going to mix the two on the back of my hand to get the correct color I need for my face. Taking a stippling brush, I'm just going to go ahead and dab that all over my face, blending it in really nicely. And also make sure you blend it in nicely into your jaw and neckline so you don't have any harsh lines. Then I am taking Fit Me in number 110. I believe this is the lightest color in porcelain. And I'm going to be applying that underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and a little bit under where I contour, and also on my chin. And I'm going to blend that all out with a sponge, and this is going to act as my highlight. Taking a tiny stippling brush, I'm going to use that to go underneath my eyes and blend out that concealer. Taking a loose powder and a big fluffy brush, I'm going to apply that all over my face to set the concealer and the foundation. Then taking my angled brush and my Bronze Booster by Physicians Formula, I'm going to contour underneath my cheeks, on my forehead, on my jawline, and then taking a smaller brush, I'm going to contour my nose. Next, taking my highlighter from Revlon, I'm going to apply that on the uh, apples of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, pretty much everywhere where I applied that concealer just to give it a little bit more of a highlight. Taking my master highlight and that big fluffy brush again, I'm just adding a little bit of blush on my cheeks. Then taking a color tattoo and acting as my base, I'm going to apply this all over my lids. Taking the small palette from CoverGirl, I'm applying this lightest color all over my lids. And then taking this kind of purpley brown color, I'm applying it to the outer half of my lid and blend blending it into that lighter color. Then taking this dark color, I'm applying it into my crease using a windshield wiper motion. And then taking a big fluffy clean brush I'm uh, blending that all out so the colors aren't too harsh then taking this darkest color I'm applying this and coloring in my outer V taking that same clean brush I'm just blending out all those colors then taking this lightest white color I'm just highlighting my brow taking that kind of purpley brown color again I'm just applying this underneath on top of my lash line and then taking a dark brown color, I'm applying it to the outer half of my eye, blending it into that V color. Taking the same color we used on our lid, I'm applying that to the inner half of my eye to give it a brighter look. 
And then I'm going to take that white, white color and apply that into my inner tear duct as you see me doing here. Curling my lashes before I put on my eyeliner. I'm taking my Master Precise, I believe by Maybelline, and from starting underneath my eye, I'm going to bring it up and put it into a wing, and then drag it over and color it in. Just blending that eyeliner with the eyeshadow, and then I'm taking a gel liner, and I'm going to finish lining my eyes. Taking my telescopic mascara, I'm going to apply a coat on my bottom and my top lashes. Taking this new liner, I'm going to line my waterline. Then going in with my Better Than Sex mascara, I'm going over my top and bottom lashes again. Applying false lashes, I believe by Ardell, I think they're number 113, they're very wispy. I'm applying that on my eyes. Then taking a brow gel, I am just putting my brows in a place and then I'm going to fill them in with just a regular dark brown eyeshadow. I believe it's by Revlon. And that completes my makeup look, so now we're, we will move on to the hair. Okay, so for my hair, it was actually very, very easy. Last night, I took a shower and just kind of let it air dry. And my hair is naturally very curly. So if you have straight hair, this will just take a lot longer, but just follow the same steps. So the first thing that I am doing is just taking my front section of my hair, my bangs, and clipping them back into a tiny little poof. And I'm just going to secure it with a few bobby pins. Then I'm taking my teasing brush you can get from any drugstore and I'm showing you the first section. I'm lifting up my hair and going underneath with the teasing brush and just pushing my hair back so it'll stay. Then I'm taking my bamboo uh, hairspray and spraying that into place so it won't move. So I'm going to speed this up but I'm just doing the same steps all around my head. After I got the desired volume I want in my hair, I'm taking my curling wand, I believe I just got from Walmart for maybe $20, and I'm just wrapping each section of hair around the wand and holding it for about 5 to 10 seconds. This wand will give you tight curls, but if you don't hold it for that long, it'll fall after a little while. So I'm just repeating that same step all around my hair. Then taking a little bit of mousse, I'm just going to put that in my hair to give it a little bit more of a beachy wave and to pull these curls apart a little bit so they're not as tight and put together. So I'm just running my fingers through them and scrunching it a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a loose look.
And that's it. That's how I got my beachy waves. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.